Let's go ahead and start talking about the alternate definition of the derivative. So uh, we've seen this definition quite a bit here. f prime to c equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of c plus h minus f of c all divided by h. All right? And a picture of that would look like this here. So uh, here's our function y equals f of x. And here's the point where x equals c. And uh, we're just going to assume for simplicity that h is positive. So c plus h will be somewhere over here. So uh, here's c comma f of c. Here is c plus h comma f of c plus h, all right? And uh, remember, as we take, if we take a limit as h goes to zero uh, of this difference quotient here, then we get the derivative f prime to c. So um, remember that this h down here, that was simplified from c plus h minus c, right? Because it's a change in y divided by the change in x. So the change in x is from c plus h to c here. So c plus h minus c. Um, so instead of using this kind of uh, definition here, let's go ahead and make a substitution. So let's say uh, let t equal c plus h, all right? So we're going to use this substitution here to change this stuff around. So uh, let's actually come over here where we have an exact copy of this graph. All right, so we're going to leave the original one as it is. But now here, <clears throat> we're going to change this around to use the substitution uh, t equals c plus h, all right? So uh, right here, c plus h comma f of c plus h, uh, we're going to replace these c plus h's with, uh, with t's. So this is going to be t comma f of t, right? And uh, this c plus h here is going to be replaced with a t also. So that's t now, okay? So uh, we're replacing c plus h with t, so now we have this. Um, and this was our old definition of the derivative. So now we're going to have a new one with our uh, substitutions here. So what we have is f prime of c equals the limit. Um, so instead of h going to 0, what's going to happen now? Well, we're saying, uh, let's come down here real quick. We're saying t equals c plus h. So what is h equal? Well, that means h equals t minus c, right? Okay, so uh, we want to get rid of the h's because we're replacing c plus h with t, so the h's are all gone now. So that's why we want to replace this h with something. Um, and we have to replace it with t minus c, okay? Because t is c plus h, so that means h is t minus c. So this is now going to be uh, the limit as t minus c goes to zero, all right? of what? Well, instead of uh, c plus h, we now have t. So this is going to be f of t minus f of c. And then c plus h, again, down here becomes t. So this is t minus c. All right? And uh, let's erase this down here. So if we go back to the graph, you know, we can see this kind of matches, uh, this expression here matches this graph, right? So instead of c plus h, c plus h, f of c plus h, it's now t, t, f of t, right? So change in y is f of t minus f of c, and the change in x is t minus c. So this reflects that here. Now there's one more thing we have to do. Uh, t minus c going to zero, that's kind of a goofy way to say that. But uh, we can think of it like this. So if t minus c is going to zero, uh, where is t going? Well, let's just add c to both sides. So if we do that, then we'll just have t going to c. So uh, what we say, really, is the limit, uh, not as t minus c goes to 0, but as t approaches c. All right? Uh, and this, actually, is the alternate definition of the derivative right here, uh, for the derivative at a point. All right? So uh, f prime of c equals the limit as t goes to c of f of t minus f of c divided by t minus c. So that's for derivative at a point. Um, and remember, we've recently talked about the derivative as a function. So what would that be? Well, that uh, would be, that's pretty straightforward. Just replace c with x, and you'll just have it as a function instead of at some point c. So it would just be f prime of x uh, equals the limit as t approaches x of f of t minus f of x divided by t minus x. Okay, so we have two new definitions here. Really, they're kind of the same thing. Uh, this one here is for the derivative at a point. 
and this one here is for the derivative uh, as a function. Okay, so these are both the alternate definitions here. Um, let's just recap what we did real quick. So we started with our original definition um, here. Limit as h goes to zero of f of c plus h minus f of c divided by h. Uh, and we remembered that h is really simplified from c plus h minus c. So we said, all right, um, let's maybe try and get rid of these h's here. So let's make the substitution t equals c plus h. Okay. So then we came up here uh, and we replaced c plus h, f of c plus h, and this c plus h. We replaced those with t. All right. And then we, uh, so that's how we change it on the graph. And then we went to our definition here and we uh, want to replace all the c plus h's with t's. All right. Remember, the goal is to get rid of all the h's, too. So here, this, uh, this is just a t plus h. It's just an h by itself. But we said that if t equals c plus h, then h has to be t minus c. So then we ended up with t minus c going to 0. Um, and then we rewrote that as t approaches c. Okay. So um, fairly straightforward. So that's pretty much what happened here. And this alternate definition is nice because uh, for some types of functions, it might be easier to use this alternate definition. Uh, than it would be to use the original definition that we had over here. All right, so um, we'll see some examples in the next few videos of using the alternate definition to find derivatives.